they had hatched a conspiracy and vice chancellor was party to this conspiracy because they used the where was the need for them where was they all the time they are describing me although i was not even member of any political party at the time when i was appointed governor of kerala but they are using names of the organizations that i am i am serving their cause their purpose so where was the need for them to invite me to inaugurate the congress where was the need no they wanted me to come there and some of you have you seen those videos have you seen the video of 2019 you have seen i am standing first thing the program cannot be more than 60 minutes as per the protocol given by the rashtrapati bhavan and down below is written no departure from the approved program shall be allowed it is right now irfan habib was given only 2 minutes to speak he spoke for more than 30 minutes they made me sit there for more than 1 hour and 30 40 minutes listening to their speeches criticizing making all kind of allegations and then looking at me so they expected i thought they want me to reply to respond to their criticism as soon as, as i started within 4 minutes irfan habib charged towards me hmm? is that right <laughs> video see the video again he charged towards me on my right side adc was standing he stopped he torn the shirt of adc in fact the photos were published of the torn shirt then because adc did not allow him to reach me therefore he went from the other side behind the sofa and came from left side there security people are grappling with him for few minutes and what the ipc says if somebody somebody does any such thing what ipc says about the president and the governor not anybody else but a specific provision in ipc whoever with the intention of inducing or compelling the president of india or the governor of any state to exercise or refrain from exercising in any manner any of the lawful powers of such president or governor now the next one is important assaults or wrongfully restrains or attempts wrongfully to restrain or overawe by means of criminal force or the show of criminal force or attempts so to overawe the president or governor shall be punished with imprisonment of either description for a term which may extend to 7 years now my you know, the question which comes to my mind that in a state where people are arrested for writing facebook post certain public meetings even as journalist if you go wearing black shirt you will be arrested that is not written in the law it is written in the law it might have happened 30 years back how dare how dare they did it because there was a conspiracy and they were assured that no action will be taken against them because i was i was involved therefore i did not wish to make it an issue now i am raising it only to show that these people they have a criminal mindset if they are violating law in the matter of appointment we should not be surprised people are being arrested in kerala for wearing black shirt or not tell me tell me you tell me they have been arrested or not yes then if somebody comes to your public meeting wearing black shirt he will be arrested and somebody who tries to assault the governor even report raj bhavan wrote to the vice chancellor and that is why i call him out and out criminal 
Rajbhavan wrote twice to send the report. You know what he wrote in the report? I am not a security expert. To give evidence, you need to be security expert. You will arrest people for wearing black shirt and you will not take any action if your head of the state is assaulted. The problem is what I had said at Manorma uh, conclave about uh, two weeks back when I said there are unfortunately there are certain political ideologies which have not originated in India, which have originated outside. They feel that using force, compulsion, overrowing somebody is politically justified. They use all these weapons against their, against people who hold a different viewpoint. I will tell you about Irfan Habib recently. Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji, he was invited by the Vice Chancellor of Aligarh Muslim University to address the university community. Irfan Habib launched campaign that Prime Minister should not be allowed to address the meeting. Why did he not do the same thing? Why did he not indulge in, in violence? The way he indulged in Kannur? Because he knew that Chief Minister in Uttar Pradesh is Mr. Adityanath Yogi. And if he tries to use violence, what will be done to him, he knew it well. Therefore, there, his opposition was confined to verbal opposition. Here in Kannur, he thought that I am free to do, uh, indulge even in violence. And this Vice Chancellor was part of that conspiracy. And all those somewhere the, who did not take action, surely you must ask them that why you ignored the IPC uh, provision. Leaders demanding Kanur VC uh, to move a deformation against you regarding the so ask him, ask him, I will welcome it. Ask him when he is going to move it. Governor, Sir. while introducing the bill today in assembly, while the bill was being discussed, one of the MLAs said that RSS is trying through governor to appoint uh, RSS supporters as vice chancellors in Green. Hmm. And uh, so this bill has... So they want, they, want, uh, they want to stop RSS vice-chancellors. They want to appoint vice-chancellors who will appoint a, a person who is not qualified. Is there any doubt after the stay by the High Court? Did he respond to that? They asked them, instead of asking me, that she has 